previously on Midge and Rita. Get up and get out of my life. Rita, line, line, get up and out of my life. And it gets to, I don't want to look at it. Just you tell me. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Okay, good. Yeah, already and. Midge and Rita were best, best friends. <clears throat> I thought we decided to let Mickey handle this. Where are we? I'll be honest with you. I'm really frustrated with Rita. I just, I told her you need to be off your script. I don't think that she has the same passion that I do about this career. I don't think she realizes what it takes to be a serious actress. Rita, Rita, we gotta do this. We gotta get on the... Wait one moment, I gotta get ready. We're gonna go meet some uh, some nice hot men right now, so. But we gotta practice. We gotta practice the script. I hope she realizes that she can't hold me back. Rita, I told you we have to be off script if we're yep. going to make it. Yep. Is there something at the door? I don't know, but we need to get back to rehearsal. Let's just yeah. make it like apples and oranges. You know, I play, I play the lead and she plays the supporting. Ridge, it's me, Bob. You son of a bitch. Bob, what are you doing here? I'm here to hug you. No, this is not fair. I, you know I need to focus on my career. That's my favorite shirt. You know how that turns me on. Well, it would work. Hey, let me ask you. Are you any good at acting? I took a movement class at the Learning Annex. Hey, I think we found a victor. Come on in. No, Rita. Wait. Well, to be honest, Bob is the love of my life. Hands down, there's nobody else. He makes me crazy. But, uh, I had to leave Bob because I really needed to focus on my career. I needed to be serious about it. And you can't be serious about your career when you are consumed by love. I'm Image. Um, um, that bingo. Uh, bizarre. Uh, he just walked into the bingo hall. I really wish Rita hadn't have invited Bob in. And uh, I, ro I rolled up on her and I said, um, I said, I am warm for your form. We did everything together. We went shopping together. Oh my God, I bought him. I picked out all his clothing. I made him who he is today. That shirt that he's wearing today, I just, it's, it's my favorite one. I just want to hold this so bad. The main problem with Bob and my relationship is the similarities it has to just every single episode of Days of Our Lives. Wait a second, it's an entrapment. He's just waiting there to arrest her. Yes, yes. We're all set up here anytime, thank you. Bob, he's got a full mustache, a full head of hair, and a full something else. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Look, Carol and Diane are egging Julie on. I can't do this. I can't do this with Bob here. It's too much for me. It's too Pinchy. much. Wait, you know what Mitch needs? She needs to go meet some hot young men. Let's go get him, girls. Careful, Bob. I know how hard it is for you to go downstairs with that hip replacement surgery. Also, I would love if they got married because I make the best cake in town. I mean, people can't stop yapping about it. It's okay. Can we do ad lib? Is there ad lib on Days of Our Lives? No, there's no ad lib on Days of Our Lives. These are serious actors who are writing serious scripts about serious situations. Hey, hmm. hey, you guys ever hear of Shakespeare in the park? You guys should do days of our lives in the park. Oh my god. I gotta go make a U-turn. Go, we, make we, it you go, 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 go. Next time on Midge and Rita. Day. Add the rose. Add the rose. Yeah. Definitely add the rose. It adds you, Yeah, you bet. I like, love the rose. I love the rose. Yeah, this definitely, the rose is really gonna make it. If it screams theater. Mm-hmm. Shakespeare. Days of our lives. Mm-hmm.